Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. Take a look at the U.S. dollar surging to its highest level since January. The dollar index jumping over its 200-day moving average for the first time in a year. With sentiment shifting around the currency, how do you trade the dollar? Gina Sanchez is with Chantico Global. Matt Maley is with Miller Tayback. So what sort of a breakout does this look like, Matt, when it comes to the dollar and how much more upside is there? Well, it's kind of interesting. On a very short-term basis, it, it's getting a little ahead of itself. Uh, you look at the uh, relative strength index, the, uh, the RSI chart. It look, it's getting to a level, actually slightly above a level, that it reached last uh, fall, just as the dollar was starting to, to finish off its little bit of a rally here and then rolled back over and made new lows. Uh, this time, however, the uh, rally has been much stronger. It, it took it above its 200-day uh, moving average, as you mentioned, but also above its trend line going all the way back to the highs in very early 2017. Uh, when you combine that with the kind of positioning we see where a lot of people are, are very short the dollar and, 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 and very long things like the currencies like the euro, uh, I, th I think that, that this kind of next pullback will be a little bit more shallow and could take, a, you know, could take the dollar higher. And, of course, uh, with people looking for a high uh, interest rates to move up from here, uh, that would be something that, that we could definitely see. And, and needless to say, that could have a, a big impact on several other markets uh, like the uh, commodities markets, emerging markets, uh, and, and things like that. So it's, it, it could be a very important move here. Okay, Gina, how, how does it look to you? U.S. certainly is raising interest rates and the Fed has been more aggressive than the European Central Bank and the Bank of Japan. Does the dollar go higher? Yeah, well, I think there's actually a positive, uh, a possibility that it could, because if you look at now versus what happened a year ago when you had that rollover, uh, we're well into the recovery at this point. And in fact, Europe is largely peaked out. Japan has peaked out. However, the U.S. is continuing to expand. And I think that that is uh, very, very supportive of the expectation for higher interest rates. Um, we're actually seeing inflation come in um, at Fed expected levels, whereas European inflation is starting to disappoint. Um, and that's also going to be supportive uh, of a higher dollar from here. Uh, so I think that just where we are in the cycle versus where everybody else is in the cycle, our recovery is continuing. Matt, the only counter argument here that I have is that the trade tensions have been bearish for the U.S. dollar. and We don't really know where that's going. There's no question. I mean, and, and, and this will bounce around a, a while. And, and the other thing, too, is it, when, when you bring these positioning issues that I just talked about, they've actually been with us for several months, and it hasn't had an impact on, uh, until just recently. So it, it's one to be play out, and there's no question. Uh, you know, every time tr uh, President uh, Trump tweets, uh, the, the, thing uh, the currency markets bounce around. Uh, so it's, it's something to keep an eye on. But right now, uh, the things that Stacy highlights, and I think on a technical basis, we're seeing something that's a little bit different than we'd seen in the previous uh, year or so. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. Guys, thank you, Matt and Gina. And thank you all for watching Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.